For wrist flexion, the subject is seated with the forearm in mid position and the hand and forearm resting on the table on the ulnar border. The axis of the goniometer is on the lateral aspect of the wrist, just distal to the radial styloid and the anatomical snuff box. The stationary bar is parallel to the radius and the movable bar is parallel to the metacarpal of the index finger. The client's hand is flexed down so that the palm moves closer to the volar aspect of the forearm. The measurement begins at zero degrees and can range up to 80 degrees. For wrist extension, the position of the subject and the position of the goniometer is the same as for wrist flexion. The client's hand is raised up so that the back of the hand moves closer to the dorsal aspect of the forearm. The measurement begins at zero degrees and ranges up to 70 degrees. For wrist ulnar deviation, the client is seated with the forearm pronated and palm of hand resting flat on the table surface. The goniometer is positioned so that the third finger lines up with the center of the forearm. The axis of the goniometer is on the dorsum of the wrist at the base of the third metacarpal. The stationary bar is positioned in center of the forearm and the movable bar is parallel to the third metacarpal. The client's hand is laterally extended in a horizontal plane of movement. The measurement begins at zero degrees and ranges to 30 degrees. For radial deviation, the position of the subject and the goniometer are same as for ulnar deviation. The client's hand is medially extended in a horizontal plane of movement. The measurement begins at zero degrees and ranges to 20 degrees. For finger metacarpal phalangeal flexion, the subject is seated with the forearm in mid position, wrist in zero degrees neutral, and forearm and hand supported on a firm surface on the ulnar border. The axis of the goniometer is centered on top of the MP joint of the index finger. The stationary bar is on top of the metacarpal and the movable bar is on top of the proximal phalanx. The client's finger distal of the MP joint is flexed down in a sagittal plane. The measurement begins at zero degrees and ranges to 90 degrees. For MP hyperextension, the subject is seated with the forearm in mid position wrist at zero degrees neutral, and the forearm and hand supported on a firm surface on the ulnar border. The axis of the goniometer is over the lateral aspect of the MP joint of the index finger. The stationary bar is parallel to the metacarpal, and the movable bar is parallel to the proximal phalanx. The client's finger movement is distal of the MP joint is extended up in a sagittal plane of movement. The measurement begins at zero degrees and can range up to 15 to 45 degrees. For proximal interphalangeal flexion, the subject is seated with the forearm in mid position, wrist at zero degrees neutral, and the forearm and hand supported on a firm surface on the ulnar border. The axis of the goniometer is centered on the dorsal surface of the PIP joint being measured. The stationary bar is placed over the proximal phalanx and the movable bar is over the middle phalanx. The client's finger distal of the PIP joint is flexed down in a sagittal plane of movement. The measurement begins at zero degrees and can range up to 110 degrees. For distal interphalangeal flexion, the subject is seated with the forearm in mid position, wrist at zero degrees neutral, and forearm and hand supported on a firm surface on the ulnar border. The axis of the goniometer is on the dorsal surface of the DIP joint. The stationary bar is over the middle phalanx, and the movable bar is over the distal phalanx. The client's finger distal of the DIP joint is flexed down in a sagittal plane of movement 
to a composite fist. The axis of the goniometer is rearranged to be back at the distal interphalangeal joint. The measurement begins at zero degrees and ranges up to 80 degrees. For thumb MP flexion, the subject is seated with the forearm in 45 degrees of supination, the wrist at zero degrees neutral, and the forearm and hand supported on a firm surface. The axis of the goniometer is on the dorsal surface of the MP joint. The stationary bar is over the thumb metacarpal, and the movable bar is over the proximal phalanx. The client's thumb distal of the MP joint is flexed down. The measurement begins at zero degrees and can range up to 50 degrees. For thumb interphalangeal flexion, the position of the subject is the same as for MP flexion. The position of the goniometer axis is on the dorsal surface of the IP joint. The stationary bar is over the proximal phalanx and the movable bar is over the distal phalanx. The client's thumb distal of the IP joint is flexed down. The measurement begins at zero degrees and ranges to 80 to 90 degrees. For thumb radial abduction, the subject is seated with the forearm pronated and the hand palm down resting flat on a firm surface. The axis of the goniometer is over the CMC joint at the base of the thumb metacarpal. The stationary bar is parallel to the radius and the movable bar is parallel to the thumb metacarpal. The client's thumb is abducted in a horizontal plane of movement. The measurement begins at zero degrees and can range up to 50 degrees. For thumb palmar abduction, the subject is seated with the forearm at zero degrees mid position wrist at zero degrees and forearm and hand resting on the ulnar border. The thumb is rotated so that it is at right angles to the palm of the hand. The axis of the goniometer is over the CMC joint at the base of the thumb metacarpal. The stationary bar is over the radius and the movable bar is over the thumb metacarpal. The client's thumb is abducted in a horizontal plane of movement while the forearm is in mid position. The measurement begins at zero degrees and can range up to 50 degrees. For thumb opposition, the subject is seated with the palmar aspect of the hand exposed. The position of the goniometer measures the distance between the thumb and fifth finger pads with the centimeter part of the goniometer. The client's thumb and fifth digit are opposed to one another. The measurement ranges from zero centimeters up to seven centimeters.